So you had an awesome run outside. You want to tell all your friends, your family, you want to show what the route, which one you took. In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate it. So let's go. You're the one I trust. All right, so I've already made a timeline. And if you don't know how to do that, there's two ways to do it. You can go to file and then select new timeline, or you can select the clip, right mouse button, and then create new timeline using selected clips. Now this is a photo that I've taken. I'm going to drag it inside the timeline and right now it's five seconds. So that's long enough for this video. I took this image from Google Earth and I'm quickly going to show you how to get it as well. Just go to google.com slash earth. That's a forward slash. And then you've got all kinds of options. You can start earth right from this browser, but you can also go to earth versions. And then if you select that, you've got a couple of options. So you've got Google Earth on internet, on mobile and on desktop. And if you click that, it will guide you there and you can download Earth Pro. And as soon as you've downloaded it and you've installed it, you can open it. And this is what you see. Now on this side, there are a lot of options that you can turn on or off. But for this video, I suggest you turn them off because that looks way, way cleaner. And as soon as you've got the image, so you can move this around, but as soon as you've got this image, go to file and then save and go to save image. It's now in Dutch, but go to save image. And then these options will come and you can change the resolution from 1920 by 1080 or from uh, 3840 by 2160, which is 4K Ultra HD. And then just hit save image, give it a location and store it there and then import it into DaVinci Resolve. Okay, and now the magic happens. So what we're going to do is we're not going to create a new composition by infusion by hitting the right mouse button and select new fusion composition, but we're going to change this image into a fusion composition. You can do so by hitting the right mouse button and then select new fusion clip. Now we've got a fusion clip and now we can go to the fusion tab. And when we're in the fusion tab, we see two things. Now these already snap into a grid. If you want the same effect, just select the right mouse button, select arrange tools and select to grid and you will have the same effect. Right. What I want to do right now is I want to draw the animation, but before I do that, I'm going to insert a background. And that's this little symbol right here. So now we've got a background and the background is now set to a merge node. I'm going to deselect it because I just want to work on the background first. And in order for us to see the background, we need to select this little symbol so that it shows up on the left. And we're going to make sure that the media out is still being shown on the right side. I'm going to close this down. And I want to change the background because I'm going to use this background as my route. I'm going to transform this. So I'm going to select the color and I want it to be something yellow like. So now we've got yellow and don't worry, we'll change that in a minute. First, let me change the name so that we don't get confused. So right mouse button, rename, and then this rename tool menu shows up. And we're going to call this screenshot. That way we know that this screenshot is this. And since I want to mask this background, I am going to add a polygon because I'm going to draw in the route myself. And the best way to do that is to click this symbol, which says polygon. And now I have the ability to draw on my image. Now let me zoom in first by holding control and zooming the mouse wheel button away from me. And now let's just add a point and I'm just going to add a few points on the route following the route so that it doesn't look artificial, but it actually looks like we have just walked or driven a route. And you get the point, just fill in all the points throughout the route. And now let me show you how to connect everything together. And now this is what you see. And you might wonder how to get rid of this because this doesn't look good at all. So all you gotta do is select solid and just zoom in a little bit because we are going to change the border width. And if we're going to do that, you see that a border is starting to appear. Now in this case, we don't want it to be too strong. So I'm going to fill in 0.002. So we have a very small line because it's a very small trail. And now we need to connect everything together to make sure that this is being shown on that image. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom out this one as well. And I'll change the effects again because in the meantime, while I was filming this, DaVinci crashed. So I had to redo most of it. So I'm going to close this one down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the background to the merge. I'm going to select the polygon 
and I want to animate it because that's the final step we need to do. So I'm going to the end of this sequence and I'm going to make a keyframe on the length. I'm going back to the start of this clip and I'm going to drag this all the way to zero. And now it's gone. So watch what happens when we start to play this. The line is starting to appear and you can't really tell right here because it's yellow and green. But if we go back to the edit tab and we go to the start of this clip and we select play, you see that now the line has been animated. And it's easy as that, so I hope you all like it. It's a great way to show your friends which route you've taken or which trail you've ran. And uh, if you want to see more of me, please click at that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, I've got a button for that over there as well. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!